everyone. Bless, 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 bless. Sunset, everyone. Sunset slash midnight coming from work. Had a pretty good day. I figured I could talk on here about um, where beauty comes from. Beauty. We're going to talk about beauty on this bitch, okay? I'm in a mellow tone, feeling pretty good. I didn't even eat my dinner yet, but I didn't even go inside yet. This is a nice evening. The wind is blowing, and I'm feeling inspired. Now, I'm just going to speak from experience, and I'm going to speak according to whatever that comes to mind. Whatever that is in my energy to talk about at the moment, okay? So this is just a voice therapy right now, sound therapy. Um, now, my thoughts, I feel like you can sense how much someone loves themselves just by what is reflected on the outside their house you know um and it doesn't have to you know no one has to count how many times you smile type shit you can you might be the type of person that keeps your joy on the inside that's how you protect your happiness in the first place by not showing it to people <laughs> i can relate but um yeah, look, man. There is a reason why. And I ain't gonna explain myself at all. I don't see the point in it. People that get my vibe, get my vibe. People that don't, just don't. I don't owe you no explanation. I don't need to adjust myself to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't gotta adjust myself to make you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable on my channel, if my nipples are bothering you, you feel me? If you sitting that close to me while I'm talking to you a little bit unnerving, disturbing, then click off. Go to another channel you feel good at. I. You fuck with me, you fuck with me. You vibe, you vibe. You don't, you just don't. And you go about your business. Mind your beastness. You feel me? Mind your beastness. Now, since the theme and the topic is about um, beauty, you know, there ain't no special cosmetics. I'm going to keep it real with you. There ain't no special cosmetics. All right? Sure, there are natural oils out there. There is, you know, alternative soap that is better for the overall skin care. And just, temp, you know, pampering yourself. Um, giving your body, mind, and soul, and spirit what it needs. According to your own needs. Because you're inside of your body, correct? So only you will know what is best for you. Or your partner knows what's best for you if you guys are tight like that. And you guys have a beautiful dynamic going on. I support it. But dope. You know. If you, you know, hey. 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 If you don't get me, you don't get me. I ain't gonna explain once again. Because you know what? I've been the same exact way you know, free upon myself. I always felt free since I was younger. Always felt free. The only times I felt like someone was trying to cage me in is whenever I'm in a damn relationship, okay? Yes. Particularly the last one, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, your baby feeling free, you feel me? You don't know my journey. You don't know my story. I'm sharing it in bits and pieces. Don't be don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. I'ma get to it when I get to it. 
are you gonna be pushy with a a child warrior you feel me that's been through a whole lot of shit and then growing up they just learned how to find the peace and everything in their life are you gonna be pushy about them telling their story it's a lot man it's heavy it's heavy it's heavy and i'm sure there's a lot more that is unknown <laughs> and you know that's one thing i've um give me one second distraction hi oh. <laughs> is it heavy and you happy oh no you got oh careful it's trippy <laughs> Oh yeah, I had to think about what the hell I was saying. Hold up, there's way too many distractions going on, but really, where is this motherfucker trying to go? Move on, move on, move on, move on. Okay, cool, moving on. So I'm gonna take a nice little walk so I can finish what the fuck I was saying. What the fuck? <laughs> so we were talking about beauty, correct? Beauty, beauty, yes, beauty. So, um, oh, on that, if you don't feel comfortable with watching my channel for any reason, or you feel as though you gotta like. If you find yourself trying to critique or criticize another spiritual woman or just another period, it only highlights the insecurities one really has. Unfortunately, it only highlights that. Um, but anyway, beauty, how in the fuck? Now, there's a really bad, um, I guess, overall social belief that, hey, pretty people have it easy. Hey, you know, let's make life hard as fuck for them. Even though we don't know them, pretty people have it easy. So, you know, I mean, think about it. Of all of the movies you've watched that are considered a thriller, a horror flick, a scary movie, why do they always display beautiful women, you know, at the height of having a beautiful woman around, the pleasure, obviously, but then the lowest of having a beautiful woman around is, you know, the not so decent uh, parts of the movie is typically very exaggerated by, you know, their, their deaths are often exaggerated, okay? Why in the fuck? It's always the beautiful people, whether it's a beautiful man or a beautiful woman, they're either evil as fuck, you know, making life worse for everyone else as depicted on screen, or, you know, it's just, it's always a tragic motherfucking story attached to it, basically. Pretty woman, okay, tragic story attached, I don't know. But anyway, all I'm trying to say is, I feel like when you encounter a certain beauty in a person, or about a person, all it is is that it just reflects the inner beauty that they've been working on all of their life. Okay, not just just started or because of some relationship, whatever. Yeah, sure, it helps. You know, more pressure, the finer the gym, right? But what I'm really trying to say is it's more so like when you see a beautiful person, do I don't care how you may see them. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, they're fine as hell. Oh, the, whatever the hell you may think. Oh, hell, wait, let me find out where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> oh, yeah, so anyway, it's more like um, you just gotta 
consider that they may have a story. You just don't know people's connections to, you know, to the spiritual journey. What their true story really is. Fuck a physical story. What people see on the outside of a person, even if they've been watched out their damn life. I don't know. It always seems as though the spiritual reality, lifestyle of that person is totally different than the lifestyle that most people has witnessed them, you know, kind of live out. And that will always, like, trip people up because it's like, first of all, have you ever heard of the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover? Why don't people take that for real? Like, why can't just people accept that as it is? Don't judge a book by its cover. Meaning, don't judge a book emotionally. Don't judge a book mentally, physically. Don't judge a book, you know, hell, spiritually, energetically. Don't judge a book gender-wise, you know, by background, by the walks of life. You know what I mean? Just because I raised myself in the jungle in the wild, (laughs) because that's what it really feels like. Just because I raised myself, I didn't, in a way, yeah, outside looking in, it would look like I raised myself in a way. But um, there were definitely, you know, ancestral family that was always there. So it's like I grew up in a full house or um, a full neck of the woods, if you may. (laughs) I don't know. This moment is reminding me of Mowgli. I don't know if I'm not saying his name right. But it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a spinoff of uh, The Jungle Book. But it was it's on Netflix. It's called, let's see, M-O-G. It's Mowgli, something like that. Something like that. I'm probably butchering the name. I'm trying to pronounce it, but... This moment reminds me of that because he was raised by the animals of the jungle, you know, basically the wild, basically he raised himself, but he had his um, the spirit animals help. Then when he finally, you know, set foot on like the village or whatever that he wasn't used to, he his heart was still loyal to the jungle because that's where he came from and um he'll never forget the spirit animals that's helped him and they're still there with him type shit like that's his family um it's like the trees are his family you know it's perspective 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 inner beauty man like (sighs) inner beauty dude It's like, I just never found it attractive about a person judging another person, especially for no reason. And even if they feel like they have a reason, they really don't know for real. Um... I was thinking today, too, while I was at work. Now I'm just flowing. Thanks for flowing with me, guys. <laughs> On the theme of inner beauty. But um, I was just saying to myself, like, you know, it's been a long journey for me. I'm sure all of us have had a journey. It's been a very, very long journey. I can only speak for myself. My most fantastic moments in life has always been from the inside, from eternal, from what I experience privately, you know, versus publicly, versus socially, versus like in a family gathering or whatever, versus whatever that, whatever conversation that might be engaged with me and another, what I truly experienced in life during this life and probably many others has been fantastic in general altogether 
include a moment where I felt uneasy a little bit, a little eerie, like, oh shit. <laughs> um, all those experiences are still fantastic to me. I was able to travel a lot more, you know. Even though I haven't done much traveling at all physically, I don't travel just, you know, in the way that I would like. Real soon, that's going to change, I feel. So I'm willing it to be, I, you know. I do see better days. No one can tell me different. No one can distract me. I never had a problem with that. I trained myself since school age to not be phased by distractions. So it's real easy for me to ignore somebody. Ignoring will also preserve your beauty, okay? Remember that. Ignoring people who are not healthy for you preserves your beauty. <laughs> Not being stressed about shit like that preserves your beauty. Staying connected to your ancestors and being open and vulnerable to them preserves your beauty. Doing what's completely comfortable to you, even if it may be uncomfortable to others. But spirit agrees and you agree. You know, know, it's like that. Um... You know, small hint. Like, I talk to you guys close up, face to face, like that on purpose. Like when we're in our bedroom, <laughs> in my bedroom, <laughs> and I just be chilling, and I just be talking. However, I feel whatever theme I feel like talking about, I just flow. And, you know, understand, understand. I don't do shit just for willy-nilly. I don't do shit just for, you know. There's a careful purpose of why I do everything I do. Oh, and for those that are wondering why I'm showing my nipples and shit and I don't. I'm comfortable in my own skin, basically. I've never, I haven't always been that way. Okay. Not really. And plus, like, it's kind of a medical thing why I oppose to bras. So, bitches, if you're looking at me and not listening to what the fuck I'm talking about, like, not even trying to... You know, receive the therapeutic energy that was originally meant. The reason why I do these damn videos. Then baby girl. You just don't know my story and that's okay. Even though. I might even like your channel. Say what? I may even dig your channel. Even if you're not digging me like that because maybe something petty as of. Me showing my nipples, that's perfectly respectable. I can respect that. I'm in my own bubble. I'm still going to do me. But I can respect your bubble as well and still do me in my own bubble. You feel me? I'll still watch your videos because it's inspiring to me. Bitch, sending you love. Bitch, all right. (laughs) It's all good, though. Like I've always said in my videos, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, Please be free to be your fucking self. As long as it's healthy towards yourself and the others. It's got to be healthy. Or it just won't work. It'll backfire like a motherfucker. So, um, you know, spirit knows the hearts of everyone and whatnot. But yeah, so like, you can tell people's like, morale limit or... Who, whatever, morale measurement by the health of their outer appearance as well. Um, 
you'll know if the insides are healthy, if the outsides are healthy. You feel me? Like, a man or a woman can be in rags, nowhere to go, no home, no car. They walk everywhere they gotta be. They go to work. And they just do them. They're just surviving. Someone can be in rags like that and literally, you know, be gorgeous as fuck still. How is that? It ain't computing in these motherfucking people's minds. Like, there's groups of these motherfuckers that can compute. How a homeless motherfucker be in rags, not wearing the latest shit. You know, don't have a man or don't have a woman. No sex, no sex life going on here. Can't pick up their motherfucking juices in the air. Because the easiest way to pick up juices in the air is if people are fucking. We can sense that shit because people are fucking. We can relate to because we fuck. So we can pick up people who fuck. But people who don't fuck, what's up with that? When you pick up on a person who don't fuck like that, who got, like, dude, their self-love is bigger than their whole entire sex life. Or maybe sex lives, multiple lives put together. Their self-love is that big, you feel me? Imagine. Imagine a gorgeous motherfucker who is homeless as hell, man or a woman. But yet, they don't got all the cosmetic shit that is being advertised a lot on TV. They don't have access to that shit, let alone money for that shit. What they got access to is a simple mirror, water, you know, running water. That's about it. And whatever they could pick up from the dollar store. Make that shit work. You know, stay clean. Take a shower and shit. And hey, you know, all is well. You know, that homeless person can still be cool, do videos, even if they just woke up from a long ass, beautiful ass nap that their body so needed. With bags in their eyes. So the fuck what? It happens, right? And, you know, I guess in a way that's... You gotta show your... You gotta show your humanity. You know what makes you human. Show your humanity. What's your vulnerability? Do you mind sharing that with the world? Or, Or do you want these motherfuckers to make up a fucked up story? Projecting. And showing your vulnerabilities to the world at the same time on some other shit. Look, if people are going to look, it's either you reveal your vulnerable shit. Because truly, that's what makes you strong, truly. That's what truly makes you strong. When you are, when you feel comfortable in yourself that you're willing to talk about vulnerable shit. In such a way, of course. I don't know, man. But anyway, um, beauty, dude, like, you can tell how beautiful a person truly is by what's reflected on the outside. You gotta do a lot of observing, though, you know? Like, you could tell a motherfucker who is just all charms and who is using their charms to get ahead in life. And you could tell a motherfucker who... Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> Who's just existing and chilling. Just existing, being themselves, whether people like it or not, and chilling. There's a distinct difference there. The person who is just chilling tends to always be that way 24-7, regardless of who they're around, whether they're by themselves or not. You know... Inner beauty, dude. Your willingness to face your own fears, man. That adds to your inner beauty as well, which will reflect on the outside. I don't know. How well do you face your own darkness, dude? How well... How... (laughs) How well do you face your own darkness? You gave your own darkness a hug. Cause feel me, like, look. 
feel me on this. So, you saw how vulnerable I made myself to you guys, right? Like, you, you see the nips and everything. You're close up to me, face and all, you feel me? Buns and all, and, you know... That very thing that I was doing, that very, this very thing that I'm doing now with the videos and how I'm doing these videos, especially the bedroom ones, that was the biggest one for me. The biggest one, like the most traumatizing, if I had to pick what room in a house or what room in a housing setting, that is the most traumatic for me ever, ever. Ever, 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 the bedroom. That was the most traumatic for me. Anything dealing with the bedroom. You feel me? Anything dealing with the bedroom. Um. You know. It's just a lot of shit. So. My most traumatic experiences always came from the bedroom. As well as my most pleasurable moments, as well as my most nightmarish moments, as well as all of that. So I felt like doing these videos, I might as well face my fear. The bedroom. <laughs> Thanks, y'all, for listening. You guys have a good sunset and good night. Peace.